Hi, my name is Nikki and this is That's Where She Grows. division video of this beautiful variegated wheel in San Severia because at the moment it has three different points that I want to divide. Usually you would probably leave this to grow a little bit further as this one isn't fully developed yet. I just really want to divide them. I like dividing plants. Any chance I get, I'm doing it. Plus this one having the single leaf as is very well known is a statement piece in your home. So we're going to kind of see what happens when I divide this one from the mother plant and see how much bigger it will get. This one in particular, this is as big as this one is going to get. It does have a little bit of damage on it, which is why I have no problem with dividing this one off of this one. We'll be launching new video every Monday, so tune in for a new episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel as it helps me create new content for you. Alright, so let's just get right into this. I'm going to demolish my plant. We're gonna take we're gonna take her apart and get her into some new pots. So the first thing that you want to do in order to loosen up the root ball is you want to give it a good squeeze all the way around. Ooh, yeah, it's getting tight in there. It could still stay in here for much longer. These sounds of areas really like to be root bound. This one I want to divide as there's three wealth and sounds various as I stated, make a very beautiful statement piece when they're alone. So you want to just kind of squeeze around the base. And so also from the bottom you want to squeeze up a bit to loosen up all the soil. See how that is all just coming up now? You want to pull it out. And you'll see here the roots. And our little baby. You'll see all the roots here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of lean this off to the side and get one of the pots ready. I'm going to be using this one as it has the nursery pot inside as well as it also has extra drainage on the outside of this plastic pot so it has lots of aeration. So it has lots of airflow. I also have a little bit of perlite here I'm going to add for extra aeration, make the soil a lot more airy. There is some in my pro mix, but I'm going to add just a little bit extra because I have some. And the sounds of is basically like to live like a cactus. So what I like to do is I will fill this up about halfway and make a huge mess. And then you're going to take one of your Sansevieri babies. You see it, it has the stem, it has the stalk that goes down into the roots. This is a tap root. It's going to have an extra one that's connecting to these other plants. You're going to want to break that off with as much root as possible. So you're going to want to get right down in there. And you can feel with your fingers inside as you try and pull that apart. Err. It does require a little bit of muscle and this dirt is going to go flying. All right, so you see here where the root broke off. I didn't get nearly as much on this one as I'd like. You can see that there's actually none of the little tiny roots. This should still be fine to grow. It might stunt the growth a little bit, but it'll still be fine. Sansevierias are really easy to, easy to plant. So I just kind of stick him in the middle, and then I'm gonna put some more dirt around him. we have one little repotted or divided wheel of incense area. Once you reach this point, you're just going to water it in fairly well. I'm just going to do that much for now because I don't want to be dripping a whole lot of water around me. And next, I'm going to prepare this pot for the next one. I'm just going to add a little bit of soil in the bottom, like maybe, okay, 
probably fill up halfway with soil. And the same procedure, we're going to rip these in half. These ones are growing really tight and close together, so we'll kind of see what we get. I said you kind of you want to try and hold on to the root balls and try and retain as much of the roots as you can. Though this feels like it's literally connected at the same part of the tap root. So I'm going to take off more soil. For this one, I think I might even, it might be good to use a knife. And now I have a knife. Magic. So this one, this one is connected basically at the tap root. We all know how I like my knives. I'm going to try and slice down through it because it's connected to the same part. We may have some casualties, we'll find out later. Lots of winner. All right, so now we have two pieces. And each of them have the roots connected. So these ones should survive. Let's see, which one do I want to go in? Maybe, do I want him to go in that pot? No, this one can go in there. And then we're just gonna pack some extra soil around it. Sansevierias are one of those plants that you can actually propagate very easily just by even cutting off a few inches. You can generally put those in water within two months. They will then produce roots. So the, even without like a whole bunch of root structure, these usually will, will come back. sure is that they're in there really nice and tight and very sturdy. You don't want your sense of areas falling over. Move him because we're going to plant this last sense of area back into the pot that we took him out of. So as per usual I'm going to put about half, half the pot full of dirt. You want to make sure that you push the dirt around firmly around the roots to make sure that it gets right in there. The sensitive like areas are very sturdy. See, he's already hanging out. You want to add just a little bit more. Make sure he's standing tall, as that's the best part about the whale fins. Okay, he's all in there very nice. I'm going to give him a good water. Now once I have all that planted, what I do like to do to a lot of my plants is actually add some of this. This is, this is basalt rock dust, which is also known as volcanic rock dust. The volcanic rock dust adds extra trace minerals like silica and contains other 56 other elements. A lot of this is not found in your local gardening soils or potting soils, so it's really nice. It's a slow release. You only have to add it maybe once a year and in small amounts, it'll water in, and this is how you get beautiful plants. So I'm only adding maybe half a teaspoon to each of the, each of the pots. Uh, you can mix it directly into the soil if you want. I just like putting it on top because it'll water in it as well. It'll just water itself in. Close that back up. A bag like this will last a very long time. I use this in every single one of my plants. 
this bag is still half full. All right, well, thanks for joining me on another episode of That's Where She Grows. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to see more. I'll see you all next Monday. This beautiful starfish sansevieri is going to go home to one lucky winner. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, see below for details. Join us every Monday for a new episode.